welcome to my youtube channel in this video you will learn how to edit your windows so that they can look real in a key card so what i'm going to do is i'll go to window button under the toolbox or i'll go to design under design tools you will see your window button then i will go to my floor plan and place them where i want them to be place them where i want them to be so after placing them i'll go to my 3d and see how the windows look like me looking at this you can see that the window does not look real so this is the default window it is left of me to now edit and then make them to look real to my test according to my heart's intention so i'm going to design a window so i will select the window i want or the windows i want to edit i'll go to my design settings then so you can see the windows we have in Archicad library. So we have basic windows and under these basic windows, these are the the style of the windows. So I will go to base and bows window. You can see the thing that came out here. So you go to empty windows, you can see your empty windows. So in most cases we still make use of all these to achieve our design according to what we want. So you can see what we have under uh, historic windows. So we have a single double window, you see what we have. And you can see single double windows 19. It means um, I'm using a keycard 19. So if it is 16, this 19 will be 16. If it is 20, it will be 20. So it means um, the designs you also have in 20 could be different from what you have here. You understand? But um, following what I'm going to do now, even with your keycard, you're working with any version of your keycard, you can still follow the method and do, still do your design. So look at sliding windows and oh, so going to going. Let's let's work with basic windows. The first thing. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to design. You pick any one, and I will design it. And after everything, it will look real. So going with this uh, double windows. Um, you can see first place I need to go to is uh, preview and positioning in preview and positioning I have to edit the width of the window and the height of the window and also the gap between the bottom of the window and the floor level so let's let's say I choose um, 750 mm as the width of my window and this 1500 I, I will leave it this way because I need it that's what I want so and um, seal to wall base simply means the gap between the bottom of the window or where the window starts for and the floor level so let's say I choose um, 600 so um, I will now go to basic window settings remember the reason why I throw basic window settings is because of the first place I choose is a uh, basic windows. That means if I choose this base and bow bay and bow windows, it will write it will change this basic will change to base and bow uh, window settings. If I choose let's say um historic windows, it will now change to historic window settings. Just note that. So coming here, I will now um you can see what we have here. This means you can it can take you to to left uh, to the left uh, settings so i'll take it you see it has ended so it means my editing should start from here so i really don't have to do anything this year because of what i have in mind so i will just keep going okay and also coming here you will see all these are what i need to edit i remember i may not really need to make use of all of them because my concern most is uh, my 3d so um 
sometimes those things also when you did and you need it still to reflect on the 2d and not on the 3d so i really don't need that for now so i just want to uh, it is something that after everything it will it will it will it will, it will, it will be seen in my 3d so under this shape i will put place a uh, upper transform and uh, transform division so i'll keep going under here i choose so let me choose this this is my choice you can still make yours and then um, you go to your floor plan and observe what it has given to you the effect of the choice you made so i keep going this is the frame and search so the frame and search this the whole of this panel is called the search while the frame is where it is attached to the wall so you note that so um i'll keep going so under here you need frame width so um let me choose um 100 and then so you can choose anything so it's just my choice keep going so i will override this line opening line that is this line you are seeing this one I'll keep going So I choose this color for my frame and color for my stash. I choose uh, let's say this black paint. Then the glass surface I choose an environment. So. Um, the casing is just like a molding in front of the window uh, some we call it a baluster or whatever window baluster so I'll keep going so here I will I'll choose um, let me edit this to 50 that is what I want you can put any figure you might decide to leave it that way Put um, this is seventy here. Keep going. So, so this is the way you choose the color of your casing. So let me choose white again. There you have it. So this is what I have done so far. So um, from this, you can see that uh, I have edited my window. Uh, this I like this window, so um, I've did edited it. And you too, you can see it. And we still have different types of windows, so everything is just your choice. You can just pick the one you want and try to edit and you come you you make it very interactive whatever you choose you come to your uh, 3d to see what you've done so doing that um, you will not perfect in it so if you like this video please uh, share comment and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos thank you